that's always on my mind. Um, I'm always, oh, I've, I've really stopped looking for someone, unfortunately, because uh, currently where my mind is, it's just like, I don't want to say I've given up, but I've just seen everybody make me promises and make me promises on promises, never really fulfilled. Like, I was always looking for a caretaker, looking for someone that would protect me, take initiative for me, and just be the greatest person they could for me. And, I, and that may be selfish, I don't know, but it's, that's just me being honest. And every time I've kind of let myself be led on by someone, they either deceive me or just treat me really, really, really bad. And I'm, I'm a very genuine person and I'm far too emotional and I care too much. And I've, I've definitely cared too much in situations and been fucked over. So what I do want to say to my, uh, my, my supporters and, and my family, as far as you guys, the key to love is compromise key to love is also loving yourself now and love is a very complicated thing look at love like a game everything is a game look at love like a game if in order to, for your partner to respect you you have to respect respect yourself but in the same context you also have to compromise for them so it's a very complicated uh, idea so like alright look at it this way if your lover disrespects you there is a certain way you have to, I can't tell you how to deal with it, but there is a certain way you have to deal with it as far as, like, okay. Mm. Your lover says something to you, you know, like, instead of getting angry, instead of leaving, which is never the answer because you'll never find love in leaving, that's pride. If you think with pride during your relationship, the shit won't work out because then it'll just be an egotistical battle and... Bro, I'm sorry to say it, women have far more pride than men. Men have pride, but women have pride and it's and it's hidden. But I respect women, I respect uh, the, the, uh, I respect the woman's pride because it's a different type of pride. You guys don't want to be walked on. You guys don't want to be, you guys don't want to feel disrespected. You guys want to feel empowered. But in the same context, you guys have to understand we looked to women for emotion. We looked to women for comfort, you know, for to, to be grounded, like, all right, Earlier on in my life, I didn't have a like. I had like my mom would try and financially take care of me, but my mom was going through it at a young age, so she wasn't really able to be there, and it wasn't her fault. And I didn't have a woman in my life to ground me emotionally, so I always looked to other people for emotion, and I always was disappointed because obviously no one would be able to compromise for me fully because I would give my all and put my all into things, and they would just I would just never be compensated for the the love I would give. So. <laughs> As far as compromise, um, for one, don't put your pride, don't put your pride in a fucking relationship. The shit doesn't work. It makes the shit harder than it needs to be. It makes it complicated. It, it, it makes everything hard. Do not put your ego in a relationship. Do not be afraid to blow up your lover's phone. It's the ones that are annoying that love you. It's the ones that will sit there and, and, and blow, up you, blow you up for hours and check on you 24-7 and annoy the fuck out of you that care. It's okay to be annoying. In order to... Okay. Now, another thing with love. Don't try and publicize like I, like I'd say publicize your love in the same context like show people you're happy but when you start showing people what you've got going on in your personal life that's when people feel the need to get involved or people get in the middle and fuck everything up keep your relationship to yourself that that other shit in the middle fucks it up sometimes you can't ask for opinions sometimes you gotta battle the shit out for yourself like I said it's like a game so when you whenever you ask for someone else's opinion it's almost like Look at it this way. They're dealing with something from a preconceived... They're, they're, they're dealing with it from a preconceived notion of what you told them. So they'll never understand the, the, how much compromise your partner has given for you. And how much of a situation... How, how, much, how much care has been put in the situation. You know? Because no one can ever really care about the person that you care about. 